Welcome to the Extraordinary Health Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Paul Beckham, and I have Allie and Liz with me here today. Hello. Hi. They're going to act as your surrogates and ask questions and prod me to give them answers. Mm-hmm. So today we're going to be talking about diabetic neuropathy. Uh, it's probably the most common neuropathy out there, and... I mean, unfortunately, you know, type 2 diabetes in the United States is getting worse and worse and worse in that there's more and more people affected by it, and even at younger and younger ages. I mean, they even have grade school kids that are now type 2 diabetics. That's kind of a scary thought to think about. Mm -hmm. Uh, But the main part that, you know, we're looking at here is people that end up with neuropathy, you know, where you know, their their feet or hands get painful, they get numb and tingly. I'll have patients even describe them as feeling like raw pieces of meat. They can't sleep at night because even the sheets from their bed or blankets are just aggravating, you know, their feet or their hands and they just can't even sleep. You know, so then it, that just compounds things there from there on out because if you're not sleeping and resting your body can't repair itself so um with you know people that have diabetic neuropathy the big key thing uh if we're going to be doing any kind of treatment with them is that we need to make sure that you get your blood sugars under control and start to get those down you know in a healthy range here uh so that if we are going to get you treated it's going to be effective and it's going to be a lasting result for you here because you know, if you're not getting your blood sugars down to a healthy level, it, it's just not going to help. I mean, the condition is a progressive condition. That's how they consider it here now. Uh, although with the treatment that we have in our office, I've seen high 90% effectiveness. In fact, I don't think I've seen anybody that it's come in that's had more mild, moderate, kind of severe, you know, end of the spectrum that has not gotten excellent results with this and been able to start to feel the carpet that they're walking on. Uh, and that is kind of one of the problems, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, like we were, just had somebody in here. We got some brand new testing equipment in the office here uh, so that we can actually diagnose this very accurately here. Uh, it takes like six and a half minutes to do, and, and I'll maybe let Allie and Liz kind of describe, you know, what it's like. Liz, go ahead. <laughs> So we do the pseudomortar test, and then we also have the ANS testing, which is autonomic nervous system testing. And pretty much it's like two different sessions, but all, I mean, two different things, but in one session. Um, So the pseudomortar test is kind of looking at how the nerves are working in your hands and feet. So you'll have your hands and feet and toes all flat on these metal uh conductive pads and you sit there as still as you can for six minutes six and a half minutes and uh then it gives us our results for that and then we also have the ans testing that uh has pat or uh what is it blood pressure cuffs um and everything like that and pulse oximeters and a ekg even hooked up yeah and uh it's kind of crazy all the things that just those two tests can really tell us. Yeah. Like with the uh, pseudomotor test, what that's testing is, if you want to think of it very simply, is how much are the nerves and blood vessels uh, and actually it's like sweat glands is what it's kind of testing there in your hands and your feet. And then that gives us a kind of a, a reading then that kind of lets us know, do you have no neuropathy do you have mild neuropathy moderate severe extreme you know obviously we don't be on the extreme end of the spectrum because there you're probably you know could very easily you know step on something or grab something not even know that you you know have punctured yourself uh, or had any damage there and all of a sudden it gets infected and because you have decreased blood flow and nerves there you don't feel the pain you don't have the blood flow, so it gets infected, and that's where, you know, you get gangrenous lesions starting. And then if you don't get that taken care of, you're going to end up having, you know, a limb cut off because it could spread up your limb and 
if you don't get it taken care of, you could die from it. So, so that's the big thing about neuropathy that a lot of people don't realize is, I mean, our so our blood is basically our life. It does it carries everything that we need to function, other than you know the 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 actual spinal cord and and. But so with neuropathy, um, when you do injure yourself the most important thing to get that healed is going to be that blood flow because you need that cellular metabolism in order to heal those wounds. Now, if you're having neuropathy, you're going to have decreased nerve function. You're going to have decreased um, blood blood flow to those areas. So that's why they aren't healing as quickly. So getting it treated as early as possible is going to help that in so much in the long run. Um, so yeah, that's just something that people don't realize is that's the important part. That's the important thing about neuropathy is we need to get everything functioning properly so that you can heal and you can be your, you know, full potential self. Yeah. I mean, and that's where the laser comes in and that the laser treatment that we have in the office helps restore that blood flow. It actually even helps re grow the nerves so you get the sensation back again and you also get the nerves going back to a part of your autonomic nervous system the like the sweat glands in your feet and we can see that reversed so using the laser we also will use uh, PEMF treatment in the office here as well as some vibration uh, therapy here just to kind of help stimulate all the nerves and the motor portion of everything there uh, so that you can get it healed up so you can finally feel good and, you know, live your full potential. And, you know, there might be other things. I guess I'll start to look at uh, even some functional medicine things. There's a questionnaire that we have people fill out. Uh, It's just a one-page questionnaire, but it can help me determine if there's areas in your diet and nutrition uh, that could be, you know, supplemented to help out with this. And especially with diabetic neuropathy, I mean, there's... Uh, different supplements. We'll have a, a link uh, in the uh, podcast here to uh, have you go out and take a look at that. There's supplements I've put together here. The biggest one would be alpha lipoic acid. We're going to need some of the B vitamins there. I think we have like the methylated B vitamins because a lot of people are having problems, uh, you know, breaking down the B vitamins there. So to make sure that they're absorbable. Yeah, they do smell kind of stinky. <laughs> I have taken methylated B vitamins, and they definitely do stink, but they are they are effective. <laughs> so they do get absorbed a bit better uh, by most people then, and you know are activated and and can help you get this cleared up. And especially if you keep your blood sugar levels under control, uh, can literally you know make a huge difference for you to the point where you know you feel like you're darn near normal again here. I mean, because if you can't get up and walk around because the neuropathy is so bad if it's it's if it's gotten to that point i mean it's you probably have neuropathy in the first place and you probably don't even have to do testing here but it's nice to have the testing to show exactly where it's at there uh, so we can give you a pretty clear picture of you know what it's really going to take to get it treated how long it might take and we always give you a, a snapshot of you know what we really think it's going to cost for the treatment too so that you know ahead of time here uh, before you even get started with the treatment you know what everything is going to be involved with it so um i think interestingly here i used to kind of just bring up a few different cases that we had uh with the testing in the office here now too it's interesting to see how it picks things up and uh just seeing patients that have been in have gotten treated i think mostly for non-neuropathy type things here that we've tested and it still picks up things like, you know, radiculopathy, patients who have had, you know, a disc herniation or something like that and have had nerves affected that are, are causing issues possibly in their hands or their feet. And it's the patients that have come in that we have tested. I mean, they've it's picked up that radiculopathy, you know, type problem, you know, in the extremity that, you know, we've been treating. So it's just a really good way of just knowing that okay yes we've been obviously getting the right thing treated it's getting better you know obviously some people might like to see it even better yet but that's where our our laser treatment can be super helpful even in those situations uh to improve things so i I was like another thing with that test that i thought was interesting was i mean it also obviously neuropathy is the main thing that it's looking at but it also looks at 
um, like your BMI and stuff like that as well. And it also looks at your mental stress, which I thought was kind of cool. physical stress. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, you also get a, a body composition kind of analysis so we can see just how that all breaks down. That can help out by, you know, guiding you with diet and nutrition things as well so that we can kind of go, oh, it looks like, hey, maybe we need to have you eat more of a, a high fat diet or a low fat diet or, you know, there's different diets out there. Uh, that could be beneficial to you, and we can help you dial that in even with using this test. Even athletes that maybe want to look at, hey, how am I doing here? Is everything looking good? Or do I have certain things that I maybe need to address here, body composition-wise, diet nutrition-wise? I mean, it's going to be a beneficial test for a lot of different people in a lot of different ways. I mean, mm -hmm. I know our you know, main reason for getting it was for helping diagnose these people that do have neuropathy so that we can give them as clear a picture as possible here uh, of what it's going to take to get treated. And we have something to retest them again, you know, as after they even get treated to make sure that we are getting that condition cleared up for and them. And that's, that's the marker you're looking for with any kind of treatment plan is can science back this up first of all, but A, what does it look like at the beginning of treatment? Let's retest that. What does it look like, you know, a month or two in from treatment? And you can actually see, not only just feel the results, but see the results too. And a lot of a lot of times when stuff happens, um, you know, either positively or negatively, if it happens gradually, you don't really notice it as much. And so if you're not if you're not noticing like the gradual improvement, we have the functional markers to show you with this testing equipment how much improvement you're getting. And so that's really nice. That's that is the marker of a good treatment plan right there is being able to test and retest. So. Yeah, I mean, that's what I always look for in the office here is to kind of have, I mean, just like getting blood lab work done, I kind of look at it as, you know, biomechanical lab work or neurological kind of lab work here to make sure that, you know, any kind of treatment that we have for anybody is going to benefit them. So. so what would a normal, I guess I shouldn't say normal, but like typical treatment plan would it be just like a case by case basis or like what is a typical amount for a treatment plan with someone with mild neuropathy? I mean, generally it is customized, but I mean, as a base plan, I mean, most people, you know, once they get into that mild phase, we're probably still looking at roughly about three months or so of treatment there uh, to get things kind of back to where they should be at. You get out to you know, that moderate, moderate to more moderate to severe, then we're looking at something that might drag out a little bit more there. Uh, you get into the severe to extreme, you know, we'll probably go through that same three month treatment plan with most people. And then it's going to be, you're going to need follow up after that. I mean, it, it's, we're not going to get it probably all knocked out. We'll try as best we possibly can, you know, but usually it gets tapered off. People might have to follow up with weekly or bi-weekly type appointments or something like that, or even monthly appointments if they're getting better. And again, we can use the testing to make sure that they're staying in a good, healthy range there too. So and we, we can do that test like every three months as well. So, Right. And I mean, like, if you think about someone who has been suffering with neuropathy for, mm -hmm. you know, years or however long it may be honestly a couple months with some follow-ups is really not that bad you know what i mean i mean the problem is, is that you know a lot of these people are taking medications that you know the medications of all the patients that i've seen you give it a year and a half two years and their body just you know acclimates to that medication and it just doesn't work anymore i mean it's just covering up the symptoms in the first place it's not mm -hmm. really dealing with the cause of the problem and, you know, by using the laser and targeting, you know, literally, you know, the blood vessels and nerves of the hands and the feet, we literally are healing, you know, where the problem's at. But also, again, going back to like the diabetic neuropathy here, we need to make sure that that person, you know, continues to kind of follow up and make sure they're keeping their, you know, blood levels of glucose in an appropriate level there so that, you know, long term, they're going to stay healthy then too, so... And that's where I think following up, I mean, once you get it better, I'm sure you want it to stay better. Mm -hmm. And because right now, I mean, even if we kept it kind of static where it's at, that's really kind of a, a gain already because it is a progressive neurological condition. The medical profession just sees it as something that is just going to get worse and worse and worse over time. They only have the medications to kind of help 
deal with some of the symptoms, which some people still might need to do that, you know, to be able to sleep and all that sort of stuff because, that, I mean, everybody's got to be able to sleep to, like I say, heal themselves too. So, and, But that's where, you know, some of the supplements might come in. People will be surprised at how well some of that stuff works to even reverse this stuff as well. But um, you don't want to wait too long and get to that point where, yeah, surgery is necessary. Yeah, I mean, ultimately our goal is to improve nerve functioning but like dr beckham said if we can stop it and even just stay static that's a win that is a big mm-hmm. win and so i mean whatever function you have now you can keep it <laughs> so that's yeah. important i kind of want to jump back to the beginning so how do patients know if they are starting to feel the effects of any kind of um neuropathy any especially diabetic neuropathy what are they going what are they going to be their first indicators that they need to address this well, if they're starting to notice something, it's probably already pretty bad. Um, you know, like with the uh, new testing that we have, we can catch stuff before a person probably even knows that they have it. I mean, if you have type 2 diabetes, it is recommended by the American Diabetes Association uh, to get this tested at least once in your lifetime here. I mean, if it is showing that you have some neuropathy, then we better jump on it and get it treated for you here. Uh, if it is worse, I mean, most people, what they're going to notice, kind of going back to what you were just asking here, so I kind of got on the tangent of <laughs> checking people and, and and finding it with the testing and they don't even know it, but if people wait long enough and start to have uh, neuropathy, that's where they start to get, you know, that numbness and tingling in their feet, just like you maybe slept on your arm in a funny way and you know how your arm kind of feels like it falls asleep and then it gets that pin prickly. Pins and needles pins and needle sensation or it just feels like your arm is dead that's what neuropathy is you know that's what they'll start to notice their feet might feel heavy if it's affecting the feet you know patients we've had come in the office are very unsteady on their feet when it's that bad you know they have a hard time walking you know that's where some people do end up in in wheelchairs and stuff like that too because they can't walk because their feet are affected so bad that they have to be wheeled around. So don't let it go that far. <laughs> no. <laughs> Any other questions or anything else you guys can think of here? Well, I guess all I, all I want to add is that if you, A, if you are diabetic, probably come in and get tested. Um, get yourself tested. See where you're at. Maybe you're still in a mild phase. Maybe we can nip it in the bud. Maybe you're in the moderate phase and we need to get cracking, but the sooner the better. Don't wait. Um, and then also if you just have questions or you're curious, maybe if you're a good candidate and you're not necessarily diabetic, still Give us a call, email us, ask us your questions. We will get back to you. Uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to ask about needing it than needing it a year ago. <laughs> and people, you can always contact the office. We have free consultations, so we can always sit down with you. You know, if you want to move forward, you know, with a screening to find out if you have something going on, we can let you know exactly you know, what that cost would be again. So, you know, ahead of time here. So we don't want people to be shocked or anything like that. Uh, We want them to know everything before they proceed with any kind of exam or treatment. So just give the office a call. We're here to help. Uh, We're hopefully here to help you. If you do have uh, neuropathy going on, you know, get you starting to finally feel good and, and get you back to your full potential so you can do what you love to do. So I hope that information helps, and we'll see you next week on the next podcast. Bye. Thanks for listening. Hey, Jinx. Jinx. (laughs) (laughs) That was so cute. That was adorable. (laughs)